Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy iRavens here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the piranha. Not the piranhas that eat you, the piranha that will completely obliterate you with rockets. I'm not joking. That's actually a thing, and it scares me. So, um, if you guys do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and subscribe. And without wasting any time, let's get right into looking at the piranha stats. So, the piranha is a heavy weapon. It looks like an absolute beast. It looks like a missile station, but smaller. I don't know. I like it. Has an efficiency of 399, a fire rate of 71, capacity of 6, mobility of 50. It has multiple so shots and area damage. It has no modules. It comes at legendary status, so nothing's been upgraded on it. It's level 65, because I'm level 65. And, uh, yeah. Honestly, I would think that if they would make a weapon called the Piranha, it would be like a melee, and it would be like a little chompy thing, like this thing. This would be like this as like a Piranha. This would be probably be better for the Piranha, but, yeah, no. It doesn't make too much sense. But today, we're going to be playing two matches with this weapon, and this weapon only. We're going to be playing a team fight and a death match. So, um, yeah, let's just get right into it then. Okay, so, um, team fight. Mm, let's do Gadget Factory. I don't know. I like this map because it's still... I, I didn't equip the weapon. Why didn't you guys tell me? You guys should have told me. Oh, God, the weapon... The, the game's about, like, not even that long of a game. Okay, so it seems to not be a one shot it seems to be a 10 shot <laughs> that shoots nine then you gotta shoot another one extra but honestly first impressions i don't like it too much it looks like it should have a scope it looks like you should be able to zoom in on it but it just doesn't let you so that kind of sucks um of course playing with a weapon like the piranha and um today's standards isn't that good since the piranha is not really to today's par and pixel gun it takes two and it takes 18 shots just to kill one person at basic legendary status. To be completely honest, that's not too good, but it's not really 18 shots. It's more like two shots because each shot shoots nine and it's just a lot of rockets. It just it's good for crowd control. Okay, that's what I'll give it. I'll say it's a cloud. It's a crowd control weapon, and that's all I can really give it. Um, it's honestly just your basic heavy weapon i'm pretty sure you can buy this anytime but it comes out for events sometimes and when it does it's um, not really a weapon that people really are like trying to go for but it still is there and it still is a heavy that some lower level players could definitely take and use it's better than some heavies is what i'm trying to say is that if you're like a level like 30 and you don't have that good of a heavy weapon and you get this and just use it i mean honestly it's not worth it for a three catter to use it because it's rocket jump abilities really would really mess you up i know it shows that it shoots nine shots but that's not too good for rocket jump um but yeah guys i'm gonna play one more match on team fight gadget factory only because that match was like a minute long and nothing really happened so i want to get more gameplay of the weapon before i go over to deathmatch because I want to see how it plays with a team and without a team. And showing by its performance so far, I don't think it's going to play too well either way. It's definitely a weapon that you could play against very low-level players who have no idea what they're doing. But if you're playing with level 65s like I am who have weapons like this dude has, then you're not going to get too far. And that's just me telling the truth. Now, if, like I said, if you are a lower level player, it will play better for you. Also, a weird thing about this weapon is that when you shoot one shot or shoot nine ammo, it only counts as one ammo on the bottom thing. So it says six out of 12. Now it says five out of 12. I honestly think it would be a cool thing if it actually said, like, that you're shooting nine bullets. Or I think, honestly, I think you should shoot maybe one bullet at a time would be cool. But yet again, it is called the Piranha for a reason. I think they call this weapon the Piranha because it's a, a big, heavy-hitting weapon. It's in kind of a smaller package, and it also shoots like really fast. Like Piranhas, they'll gang up on you and they'll eat you. Kind of like these little rockets. They'll gang up on your character at once, and they'll just obliterate you. Not really. It takes a little bit. I wouldn't say obliterate, but I'd say they do some damage. Like If you get hit by this 
live, and then get to another fight, you're going to die. But yet again, I don't really blame that on the weapon because I did find out that some of the weapons that I have looked over have not played to their best because of the new clan armor. Like the Digital Sunrise, apparently it didn't get a nerf and it was just because of um, the new armor, the new clan armor. So I want to thank the, um, the comments for telling me that because I had no clue that the new clan armors were that good. Because I thought they weren't too good, but apparently they give you a lot more than I thought. A lot more. Which which is really good. Really, really good. But honestly, with the clan armors, I think that I would take healing over gadgets, but it's just whatever you prefer. Also, the Cthulhu Legacy has got a buff, so I may have to go over the Cthulhu Legacy again. I got a 250% healing buff. So, it's going to become very popular and people are going to start using it again. I can already see it happening. So, I may do a little video going over weapons that got buffs and debuffs. I don't know. Because there are some weapons that I have done in the past that have been buffed and debuffed and become better and worse and have gone in and out of meta. And I think we just need to look at them. Kind of like the, um... The Pulley Blasty, that got a nerf on its Cluster Bomb. Um, I need to say different things about the Digital Sunrise because apparently it didn't get nerfed like I said. And I thought it did, honestly, guys. I'm just doing the best I can here. Also, I'm pretty sure this is my 100th video. Now, I was going to do something special for this 100th video. But then, honestly, it just was taking so long. It took like a week. So I think... I'll do that special thing for 300 subscribers instead of my 100th video. I think I'll do that instead. But also, if you aren't subscribed, please do it. If you made it this far into the video, I'm not sure why you're not subscribed, honestly. Like, I know my content's kind of repetitive, and I know I may not put the most effort with my editing. Well, actually, I do put a lot of effort with editing. I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. I've never edited before. But please... Go check out my other videos. Go check out my friends' channels, the B Worm channel, Jamad Gaming channel. Also, go check out the RJB. I am in that group as well. So yeah, um, that was better than the first game. I definitely can say I liked it more that second game. So I think we're gonna go straight off that second team fight game is gonna be our base game for that. So now let's do deathmatch on Nuclear City. I'm feeling Nuclear City today. The only thing with Nuclear City is that three category spammers basically just love this place, so. If we die a lot, it's not my fault. It's, um, we'll blame it on this guy named Miko. It's all his fault, guys. Blame it on him. I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine this kid's watching the video. That would be funny as heck. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Um, you're gonna find these kids in here. And, honestly, I'm, my play style right now is a three category spam, spam play style. So playing like this is a lot harder for me, so um, please help me out with this. Also, one thing I did want to add is that can you guys please give me video ideas in the comments. I mean, if you give me an idea, I will credit you on whatever you want to be credited with. All you got to do is write a comment saying, hey, here's the idea, and here's what I want you to shout out. Because then I'll put your name or something in the description, or I'll put your thing in the description. If you don't want me to, I won't. But if you want me to, I will. But you have to um, give me an idea that I like. And if you give me an idea and I don't like it, don't get mad at me if I just don't decide to use it. Because I'm not going to use every idea that people are throwing at me. Because I've had some ideas in the past that I've looked at and not done. So if I don't do your idea, please don't get mad at me. Don't get sad at yourself for making a bad idea. I mean, none of your ideas are bad. It's just some of them... I just can't do, honestly. And um, also, if you guys want more reviews, tell me. If you guys want more Minecraft content, tell me. If you guys honestly just want anything, any type of content, whatever type of content you guys want, tell me, please. Because I'll do basically any type of content you guys want me to do. If you guys want me to keep doing freaking weapon reviews, I'll do them. If you guys want me to do Minecraft, I'll do it. If you guys want me to start the Terraria series back up, I'll do it. COD Mobile will do it. I'll just do basically any game you guys want me to. 
I'm down to do because, you know, sometimes you gotta do what people want and it works sometimes. So you guys gotta give me ideas and I'll make it happen or I'll try to at least. <laughs> I'm not the complete idea maker. So that was the, um, what we'll call the second game. I didn't play too well, so here's why I see this weapon. This weapon is good for more lower level players. This weapon is better when played with a team. It's better in more close, close quarter maps. It does not play well against three category spam. Yet it does play well against ground players who don't jump around and move as much. And that's how I'll put it. So for three category spamming, it won't work at all. Um, and for playing against three category spammers, it will not work. And so for a higher level player, don't use it. Don't buy it. Three out of ten, don't do it. But for lower level players who play with players who stay more on the ground, don't rocket jump a lot, and you need a good heavy weapon, go for it. For you guys, I'd give it a 7 out of 10 because, you know, that's what you guys have to play against, not what I have to play against. So that's my review on the Piranha. If you guys want more reviews, like I said, tell me. Give me ideas, please. I'm begging you guys. And yeah, here's my ID. Comment friend me if you'd like to. Also, the clan ID, bottom left, come join. We are a gold division, and we are ready to grind to the top. So, anyways, guys, I will see you guys all later. Go subscribe to my channel. Also, go subscribe to the RJB, a group channel between me, Jamad Gaming, and B-Worm.